Lars Larson, he's a right wing um, talk show host. He uh, he wants to do an interview with the Bag Monster, and I'm a little nervous because he's um, I'm not sure what he's going to think of the Bag Monster. Um, I think he's a global warm global warming denier. I think he thinks that uh, environmental issues are just a way to make money and and just scare tactics and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see what he says. I, I hope I can win him over and uh, to the common sense of what I'm trying to do. So we'll see. It's, he's supposed to be calling right now. A little nervous. I'm, I got all my facts and figures here. I'm trying to prepare. So Ooh, he's going to call any time. <laughs> Well, I have it all in front of me here. I'm all ready. Got my tour schedule. Got the details of. It. We're going to Portland next, and uh, we're going to set up the bag monster display. And oh, here he's calling. Andy, I'm told you are the bag monster. That's right. I've embodied a costume that consists of 500 plastic bags, and that's what the average American uses in just one year. All right, and what's wrong that these are these plastic bags you get at the grocery store? I want to I want to engage on this because I think you're uh, you're going the wrong direction. So tell me why you don't want Americans to use those bags. Well, what the the bag monster represents is unnecessary waste. It's the poster child of unnecessary waste. When you think about a single-use plastic bag, it's made of natural resources, oil or natural gas, which are very valuable and necessary. But it's a very unwise use of these natural resources because, you know, right, typically. That's point one. Okay. That's point one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say. That was just like, I got my heart racing. We're at the border of California and Oregon. And uh, I'm feeling bag monstered out right now. We just begun, so I have to build up my bag monster muscles for riding around this place in a bag monster suit. It's very windy, and the bags are hitting me in the face. I think I might have a little shot in the face by the end of this trip. So I might have to push that. I don't know what to do, but I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time. All right, so I'm curious. You see me, I'm the average, what the average American uses in one year. I'm a, I'm a big bag monster. What about you, are you a bag monster? I'll have to admit, I am a bag monster. I come from a state where recycling isn't necessarily the biggest priority like it is in Oregon, but ventures like yours are what create awareness for people like me that haven't really thought about the effects that using plastic bags can have on the world so uh, I'll, I'll admit it I'm a bag monster but I'm trying to work on that myself I'm here with Janet and Jack Quinn we pulled off the side of the road to get a little stretch break and uh, met this nice couple we started talking about plastic bags and uh, Janet used to work at a grocery store right I own the grocery store and I hate plastic bags because when they came out in the late 70s in our store and they forced us to go with plastic bags. I hate them. I want to go back to paper bags or cloth bags. I don't like plastic bags. And, and how was that transition? Because I, I think a lot of people don't even remember what it was like before plastic bags. What was it like before plastic bags? Did people get, or, you know, did people get by? Absolutely. And when they bought a heavy stack of groceries, we double bagged the paper bag and it was fine. And these plastic bags, you put stuff in it, and you get in your car, they roll over, the stuff falls out. What do you do with them when you're done with them? I just hate them. I hate plastic bags. 